publicly for the first time since joining the presidential race. The former VP has an event in Pittsburgh. Biden raised $6.3 million in the first 24 hours after announcing he would run for president. And Ryan is joining us right now alongside former state Senate President Mike Karadopoulos to talk more about these latest developments in politics. Good morning, gentlemen. Yeah, Amy, good morning. Yes, a man that knows a lot about campaigns. You've been through a few yourself. So let's talk about Joe Biden. I mean, this is a guy that maybe could have won in 2016. Here he is as the front runner, but yet he's getting attacked a lot by his own party right now. Well, when you're the front runner, everyone's going to be taking shots at you. And he's the best well known person, obviously. He had a really good opening day on fundraising. He seems to be in the driver's seat. But the question is can he sustain there? Because with all these shots coming at him and some of his past votes, it's going to be really tough to stay at the top. And now we wait and see positions because largely that party has gone left a little bit in the presidential race. And where does Joe Biden fall into that? Yeah, that's going to be the question. Does the old Joe Biden comport well with the new Joe Biden? You know, he, remember, he was elected in politics when he got born, approximately. <laughs> And, uh, and and can he survive this this new political age? He's got a bad history of putting his foot in his mouth, as we all know. And in his two prior runs, he's never done well in Iowa, never breaking really about one percent when he when he ran. So it's going to be a challenge. But look, this is the new politics. But he's, if he can withstand this, I I believe most people believe he's probably the best competitor to President Trump. Yeah, Biden and of course uh, Bernie Sanders have been the top of the race. Let's talk about William Barr now. Uh, there's a big debate in D.C. right now. Really, it comes down to two sides. Democrats have paid painted him as kind of biased toward the president, while Republicans have said, look, if he's going to testify, there are going to be lawyers in there. He's afraid of getting prosecuted. Well, it's, it's now you're having prosecutors go after the prosecutor of the prosecutor. I mean, it's, it's, I think we're getting a little redundant here. The, the main question that was asked was, did the Trump campaign collude with the Russians? The answer was no. I think most people have kind of looked at this now. If, now that that, answers, that that question's been answered, the, the second part of it is that you know, how far do we go? Is it, how much is enough? If you were under some kind of prosecution yourself, wouldn't you do everything in your power to try to you know, not be found guilty? That's the uh, quote American way. And, and what a lot of people are, are really frustrated with is, is it, you're, you should be presumed innocent. And now that the Barr report has come out, or the Mueller report has come out, I should say, a lot of people expect that that was the end of it. Now I think there's this politics on top of politics, and I think the president's probably going to be helped if the Democrats just kind of go over the top, in my opinion. Mike, is this maybe an indication of where we are politically so divided? This is the U.S. Attorney General that is a force supposed to be nonpartisan, yet mm -hmm. both sides paint him as very differently than that. Well, you nailed it. This is the new politics, and whether it be Joe Biden or now President Trump, if you don't play this game well, you're in a lot of trouble. But I think the American public, they proved it with the, with the Clinton this, this discussion back in the late 90s when the core issue is answered and was not the problem they thought of made this kid white water when they got into the Lewinsky thing they gave the president the benefit of the doubt my guess is that in this new quote scandal now the president's found not to be in collusion with the Russians they're going to say now we're just playing politics and this is not good for the United States we're in a role economically we're making changes in the Middle East there's some real uh, opportunities now in North Korea etc I think we're getting frustrated by a lot of politics as opposed to can focus on the main picture here. Got to leave it there. We're going to take a break now. We'll be back. A lot of state politics in the next hour. We've got one week to go in the legislative session. Amy, Bob, back to you. All right.